So, you want me to tell you about this art collection at Ballard High School? Well, let me tell you about the person it's named after, Ori Nelson Nobles. I first met Ori in 1940 as a sophomore at Ballard High School. And after uh, class started, Ori went around the room one by one, introducing himself to each student and uh, talking just a little bit. And they came to me, and of course, Ballard was a pretty ethnic community at the time. And he said, Are you Dansk? And I said, yeah, 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 Dansk. And he says, uh, can you snack a Dansk? And I said, yeah, you can snack a leaf Dansk. And then we, he kind of laughed, and I laughed, we shook hands. And we had an immediate rapport. I saw kids there who didn't think they had any talent, but after three years with Ori, they surprised themselves. He was the, the type of person that was able to take a student and uh, really make them creative. I, I know he used the Danish term quite often. I knew what it meant. But if, if, if he had a, a piece of artwork that a kid was working on and he didn't like it, he says, diverse prickly, and it, it, it would mean that was terrible. <laughs> so, you know, he was more than just a, a high school art teacher. He's a mentor, he's a, a bon vivant, really just a human being. People still do talk about Ori. He touched so many lives, you know, and this collection is a very worthy collection. There's over 60 pieces. He'd be proud to have his name attached to it. Really outstanding artist uh, dedicated to the history and, and the memory of Ori Nelson Noble.